Three Connecticut girls who run high school track have filed a federal discrimination complaint. They claim a statewide policy on transgender athletes has cost them top finishes in races and possibly college scholarships. Yeah, the complaint cites Title IX federal rules aimed at equal rights in sports for female athletes. Fox 61 Samara Abramson joins us now with the story. Samara? Brent and Amanda, today I spoke to one of the athletes who filed the complaint. She's been outspoken for a long time now regarding her opinion about competing against transgender athletes. Glastonbury Jr. sprinter Selena Soul was one of three girls identified in a complaint filed Monday with the U.S. Education Department's Office for Civil Rights. The complaint claims a statewide policy on transgender athletes has cost them top finishes in races and possibly college scholarships. There is a serious disadvantage. The complaint, which was submitted by the conservative Christian law firm Alliance Defending Freedom on behalf of the students, says transgender girls have been winning track and field events and that the policy violates federal protections for female athletes. While traveling with her mother, Selena chose not to participate in a phone interview, saying she now fears retaliation after appearing on Tucker Carlson tonight on Fox News. Yes, I have been vocal since uh, earlier this uh, winter and my mother has been for about a year now. Selena's mother, Bianca Stanescu, began gathering signatures at track meets last year, calling on the state legislature to require athletes to compete in sports based on their genders at birth, unless an athlete has had hormone therapy. Their situation like athletics, where your personal decision, personal choice, personal view of who you are, doesn't change who you actually are biologically and physiologically. Two transgender female athletes are named in the complaint, Terry Miller and Andrea Yearwood, neither of whom were available to comment Wednesday, but they have both spoken openly about their transgender identities. Just like life, sports is not always fair. Don Ennis, a transgender woman from West Hartford and managing editor of Outsports.com, says this debate is not about choice. They didn't ask to be transgender. They didn't decide to be transgender. They are transgender. And what these girls want to do is to run as their true selves. The Connecticut Interscholastic Athletic Conference says it has not yet been contacted about the complaint, releasing a statement that reads in part, we will cooperate fully if the Office of Civil Rights decides to investigate this complaint. We take such matters seriously and we believe that the current CIAC policy is appropriate under both Connecticut law and Title IX. Should we take tall uh, athletes out of um, pole vaulting? Should we take uh, the fastest runners out of track? One of the students' mothers told us the American Civil Liberties Union is working on responding to the complaint on behalf of the transgender students. In the studio, Samara Abramson, Fox 61 News. The conservative Arizona-based Alliance Defending Freedom filed a complaint on behalf of three Connecticut girls in Boston Monday. The girls who run track are asking for an investigation into alleged discrimination, claiming two Connecticut transgender teens have taken a combined 15 women's state championship titles from other girls. They say it also costs them potential scholarships and opportunities to compete at a higher level. Rashawn Yearwood's daughter, Andrea, is one of the transgender teens named in the complaint. My daughter has uh, declared herself as transgender, uh, which brings with it a lot of the negative press that we, we experience. So anyone who thinks that you do that for the sake of winning a class S or a state open title in Connecticut is just absurd. The organization that governs high school sports in Connecticut adopted a policy in 2017 that allows students to compete in sports based on the gender they identify with. In a prepared statement, the CIAC says it will comply if the education department decides to investigate, saying, quote, we believe that the current CIAC policy is appropriate under both Connecticut law and Title IX. This is political. Civil rights attorney John Williams says if the complaint were, quote, a real dispute, it would have been filed in federal court in Connecticut. He also noted that Connecticut law is even more protective of transgender rights than federal law. The fact that they haven't come out, the fact that they haven't gone into federal court here in Connecticut, sends a message to me. Selena Soule of Glastonbury is the only athlete named in the complaint. The other two girls claiming discrimination are not identified. And attorney Williams says he believes that the CIAC has done its due diligence, due diligence to be compliant with both state and federal law. Live in the newsroom, Samaya Hernandez, News 8.
The girls who run track are asking for an investigation into alleged discrimination, claiming two Connecticut transgender teens have taken a combined 15 women's state championship titles from other girls. Just like life, sports is not always fair. And Tucker, to underscore the inequity here, I want to highlight the fact one of these male athletes now holds 10 records inside the state of Connecticut that were once held by 10 individual girls and were established over the course of about a 20-year period. So it's fundamentally unfair. Just like life, sports is not always fair.